All right, in this short video, we have two longer versions down below, a medium and a longer version, on how to import or place multi-page PDFs in InDesign, or just to place a PDF in InDesign, or one page of PDF in InDesign. It all works basically the same. So the way to do that in InDesign is quite simply you go to the um, window, utilities, and then choose scripts. And in there, you'll see the import multi-page PDF script. Because you can just place a normal PDF in InDesign with Command-D and a picture box and you can, you can place a PDF like that, but that's only just one page. If you want to get the entire PDF in, this is the way to do it. Limitation on this is it's flattened. It's like an image. You don't get to edit the text or you don't get to swap out images within the PDF. It's just there. So if there's anything to fix, well, it's a huge problem. That's where you enter the second method, Marks Where's PDF Marks. That's real simple. You just drag the PDF on PDF Marks. You get to view it. You get to see some information on the PDF, and you just click Convert to InDesign with that icon up top there, and off it goes, actually importing a PDF fully converted with all layers, text, live text, styles, colors, images, links even, everything you need. So you can go in there and edit, swap out images, edit text, whatever you need to do. Some touching up may be required, but this is the really professional way to import PDFs into Adobe InDesign, how to place multi-page PDFs into InDesign fully converted with Marksware's PDF Marks. Whichever version you choose, that's up to you. David DeLink from Marksware, wishing you a fantastic day. Take care. Get approved. Get content. Be creative. Marksware.com